There is no present and future of lazy people. Hello dear friends. Today I'm going to tell you the prediction of the June for Capricorn Ascendance. This chart is of the planets revolving in transit. Padosh is on the 7th of June and the 22nd of June. Vinaya Chachutai is on the 14th of June. Sankashti Chachutai is on the 27th of June. New Moon is on the 10th of June. Full Moon is on the 24th of June. There is a solar eclipse on the 10th of June, which is not visible in India. Now let's move to prediction. Here 10 number is written, so you are Capricorn Ascendant. If your birth horoscope also has 10 number written here, then this prediction is for you. Please do not make any mistake in watching the video, otherwise the prediction will not match. This prediction on the basis of Indian times and dates, so you should set prediction from the date and time of your country. Saturn is the Lord of Capricorn Ascendant. And Saturn is retrograde. Because of that, your work will not be completed. You should visit the Temple of Shani Dev on every Saturday or chant the Shani Mantra. Saturn will aspect your third house. Because of that, you will have to work harder. Relations with your neighbors can get worse. Saturn will aspect your seventh house, then there can be a problem in your marriage life as well. Even in your seventh house, Mars is sitting in a debilitated zodiac sign, so this is not a good time to get married. There may be debates with your spouse. Mars and Saturn are looking at each other, then people who are married or whose business is going on in partnership. They are going to have a lot of problems. For the remedy of Mars, you should feed Jagger to the cow. Your responsibility will increase in business and workplace. You can get new jobs before the 23rd of July. If you want to take a loan, you can also get a loan. Jupiter is sitting in your second house. After the 20th of June, Jupiter will become retrograde. To get good results of Jupiter, you should take blessings of elders. Cleanliness should be done in the temple. During this time, you will have to stay away from carnivores and alcohol. Your speech will be good. Jupiter will aspect your sixth house, so you should not lend money to anyone in this time, otherwise your money will get stuck. Jupiter will aspect your eighth house, then your interest in secret knowledge will increase. Your expenses may increase. Mars become debilitating cancer zodiac, then there can be property related debates with your spouse. Jobbers may have problems. Do not fight with anyone at your workplace. When Venus and Mars come together, you can have a love affair with someone else, due to which there will be a problem in your marriage life. You may have humiliation. So now let's see about the bad days. You are, or I am, one or two days in a month go, which gives us stress, discomfort, trouble. Pessimists make it, and that is the time when the Lord of the Mind and the Brain enters the negative position. When the Moon comes in the 6th, 8th or 12th house, it hurts us. Those who do not have a good lunar birth, they can observe Pradosh on the 7th of June and the 22nd of June. This is the fast of Lord Shiva. 11th and the 12th of June. 15th, 16th and the 17th of June. 24th and the 25th of June. There will be bad days for you, so you should not take any wrong decision on this day. It is good if you do not fall into the mess of waste. Control your speech. Do not say that someone's soul is hurt. Your expenses may increase. Health problems can also come. Now know about Gaj, Keshri Yoga. When Jupiter and Moon are together, or Jupiter and Moon face to face each other, or in four places, then Gaj, Keshri Yoga is formed. Just like now, the Jupiter is here, when the Moon will come here, in Aquarius or it will come here in Taurus or it will come here in Leo, or it will come here in Scorpio. Then due to Jupiter and Moon, Gaj, Keshri Yoga will be formed. In Gaj, Keshri Yoga, there is a combination of Jupiter and Moon. Jupiter means money and Moon means water. So during this day the flow of money is good. If you do some business, then you can collect payment from someone. During these days, you can get benefit. So this is Gaj, Keshri Yoga. Gaj, Keshri Yoga is being prepared for you in these five days. The 1st of June, the 9th of June, the 16th of June, the 22nd of June and the 29th of June. Out of these five days, 
you will not get so much on the 16th of June. But the remaining four days, June the 1st, June the 9th, June the 22nd and June the 29th will be beneficial for you. By remembering Lord Ram first, on every Tuesday and read Hanuman Kalisa and distribute its sweets to the children in the temple, it will be beneficial for you. For those whose birth Mars is not good, meaning that Mars is in the 4th, 8th or 12th house in your horoscope, then you can observe Vinayaka Chatyutai on the 14th of June and Sankashti Chatyutai on the 27th of June. If Rahu is bad in your horoscope, meaning in 4th, 8th or 12th house, then you should recite Vishnu Suestra name on every new moon. In flowing water, shedding coconut will also reduce the bad effect of Rahu. In this month, new moon is on the 10th of June. There is a solar eclipse on the 10th of June, which is not visible in India. If you donate on this day, it will be good for you. If you can't donate, Sun Mantra, on Japak Zoom Sankasham Kashaya Payam Aedu Time, to Mori Sava paper name Pranatosmin Devakram. One should chant this mantra. Chanting Sun Mantra can get rid of all your problems. Chanting the mantra during eclipse quickly proves that mantra. On every new moon, June the 10th, put some black sesame in water and offer it to the peepal tree, will get the benefit too. So this was the June month prediction for Capricorn Ascendant. Keep watching our channel for more information. Thank you.